Hi everyone, this is Kevin from PCI and today's demonstration is on Smart Geofill, the latest and greatest version that's available in Geomatica 2017 Service Pack 1. Let's get started. Here we have an image over Miami. This is a Landsat 8 image and I'm going to work on a single image just to begin uh, demonstrating the Smart Geofill workflow. So the first thing I want to do perhaps is to try to remove some of these popcorn clouds and these uh, areas here in the middle of these fields. So I'm going to zoom in here on this particular cloud and uh, the first thing I'll do is I will pull up the Smart Geofill tool and you can see that uh, essentially nothing happens until I create an area of interest. So by default the tool gives me the ability to create an area of interest. So what I'll do is I'll delineate this cloud shadow here oh, so I can be very precise and once I've done that, all of these options become available. Now, the selection tool works in two different ways. It works in copy or fill. So what I can do is I can either copy this portion and I can move it somewhere else. So if I wanted to move it somewhere else, now that's not what I'm trying to do. Instead, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fill this particular area with surrounding features that are similar enough. So I'll switch this to fill and now if I move my cursor to some of the other areas, you can see that it's sampling the other portion of the image and pasting that portion into the area that I'd like to fix. Now if I'm happy with that edit, I can simply click paste and it'll paste this portion of the image into the other part to hide the cloud uh, shadow. So just walking through, so I'll just escape that for now walking through the uh, tool itself so we can reset the selection so we could delete the polygon and re uh, recreate it. We could import an external uh, layer, a uh, shape file. We could reshape this existing polygon. Uh, this particular exclusion mask is for the blending option, so we'll cover that a little bit later. As I mentioned, once we're happy with the edit that we've made dynamically, we can paste that into the image. Then we have the ability to turn the edge on and off. Here we have the channel mapping, so we can basically decide what it is that appears on the screen as we're working and here we have some options which we'll explore uh, in a minute as well. So just to walk through the uh, the full workflow on a single image so for example if I wanted to get rid of this cloud and this cloud shadow very simple so as I mentioned I've already created the area of interest I'm in fill mode so I can grab that that polygon and I can sample an area that's uh, similar enough that's going to blend in and I can even choose the blending width so you can see there that that affected the you can see the blending width and I can reduce the blend width or increase it I can change the contrast or the brightness to match that feature in once I'm happy with the particular adjustment I can simply go paste and what that will do is it will paste that portion of the image in but if we wanted to toggle on and off what was there before, we could use the source visibility. So here what we're doing is we're turning off the copy of the portion of the image that we're pasting in temporarily so we can see the original image and what, what it looked like. All right, so I'm happy with this edit, so I'm going to paste it in. That's done. So now what I'll do is I'll create another polygon over the actual cloud. And once again, I'll use the fill so I'll simply use the drag tool to drag an area of interest. Now I can sample this from anywhere in the image really, it doesn't matter. So I'll try to stay somewhat similar to the area of interest. And uh, once again, change the blending, I can adjust the contrast and the brightness, and once I'm happy with that I can paste it in. 